Welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with another episode on Archipelion. And, uh, yeah, I've got, got my snow owl now. And, uh, yeah, I think this might be, I don't know, maybe the flyer for the future for now. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but I got a really, uh, well, first of all, okay, it's been a few days since an episode, uh, ran into, uh, hardware issues. And my power source was dying on my computer. I was unable to play ARC for more than, say, ten minutes. Well, as long as I stayed in my base, I was fine. Which is, you know, kind of boring. Uh, but it was as soon as my video card started ramping up, all of a sudden there was just not enough power for it, and yeah. Yeah, we only do 84 with this thing. Are you like a high level evolved? Because I might feel bad about killing you then. Nope, you're just a 140 regular. Okay. So, but I did a... Uh, this is actually my second attempt of trying to record this. Uh, let's get rid of that too. Um, my audio mixing software froze and I didn't realize it. So I had like a half hour episode, half hour plus episode with no mic at all. So, one of the things I did it was I uh, ran up to the icy area real quick and got myself some Archipelian Megatheriums. And I'm already done a little bit of breeding. I'm trying to finish getting all the stats, you know, in, and they're not being cooperative. Uh, but I found it's the Artifact of the Clever Cave, I think it was. And it was thanks to a comment I had on the last episode, which was awesome. Uh, let's see. So, uh, shout out to JD Nichols 24 Or 2004, sorry. But giving me a lot of information about this map, which is great, because I'm, yeah, basically blind on this map right now. Uh, yeah, we had Artifact of the Clever, which was great. And, uh... Also, it has a mini boss in that cave. Uh, the mini boss is Tynasta, which is a Chrono mini boss. Uh, how much long neck ammo do I have right now? 53, that should be enough. I only used like 20 the last time I went in. Uh, downside, you cannot use cryopods or soul traps inside of the cave. Uh, the whole thing counts as a boss cave. So, you're not allowed to... Hey, there you go. Uh, you're not allowed to use cryopods. Uh, this is the stats off my Dimetrons. The 39 points in a melee is great because that influences their, uh, their, their insulation effect. And so I was kind of thinking... Maybe... Bringing a creature in, like an aloe... And hatching it inside the cave. Okay. Oh, we finally got the perfect one. Okay, cool. There we go. Perfect female, finally. Uh, this female actually had an extra health mutation on her. So I was like, you know, I'm just trying to get a perfect breeding pair for now. But it's a health mutation, so I did not want to, you know, just, you know, abandon it. So... But yeah, the cave is over by where the beaver dens were. It's actually noticeable, but not. And I'll have to show you what I mean here in a moment. Um, I need a saddle. Let's borrow yours, right? Got that. Thank you. 
We're going to need some meat. If I can get this egg to hatch over there. All right. So we are, right now we're in the cherry forest. We're heading south towards the aberration area. And yeah, one thing that I'm not sure exactly what is causing it, but I have to do a dino wipe as soon as I sign into a world or in silent, as soon as I sign onto the arc. Uh, Cause otherwise it'll crash me within like two or three minutes. And it's just a glitched creature, but I have no idea what's causing the glitch, so. And you can kind of, I think that's, yeah, that's where the cave is right there. From a distance, it just looks like a darker spot in the river. And then these rocks spawn in. <laughs> it has us down there, huh? Um... I mean, I'm going to take that from you as well. Let me grab the stuff I like. The rest of it I don't really care about. Because I'm just going to pick up my uh, my owl. Okay, guys. Fear the shotgun, raptors. Fear the shotgun. Okay, this is the cave entrance here. And it's not a water cave. It just has a water entrance, kind of like the Carno um, Island cave on the island. But this, you have to swim through this little tiny notch here. I don't think any tames you can ride will fit through there. Now, the smallest tame I have right now is a dire wolf, and I'm pretty sure they wouldn't fit, so... Anything really smaller than a dire wolf you can ride on? Oh, great. Go ahead and gamma up and. Let's see, we are looking at. It is 64 degrees right here. Too cold. What the hell just happened? It hatched, but then, like, nothing come out. How odd was that? Like, did it phase through the mesh or something? Hmm, I have no idea. All right. So we're going to try this now. You're following me? Good. Let's put your uh, follow distance down to lowest. It'll go. I tried hatching another egg down below and didn't happen. Didn't work. No go. Same thing. Baby just disappeared. I better not drown trying to get you down there. Also, have some. Okay. Are you actually... Okay, yeah, you're coming down. Okay. This almost looks like it should be, you know, mineable, but it's not. Oh, this could be bad. <laughs> it's taking this out a long time to get down here. Aloes are not known for being strong swimmers, so. Hey, come on. Well, I need to 
grab some air. There you are. Come on. Up. Can you make it up this slope at all? What over this way? You're just there. You go. All right. There you go. Nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and give you all the good stuff here. And yeah. We'll be back in probably, you know, seven, eight minutes. All right, so we have an aloe in here now. Oh, and you already leveled up once. Uh, we're just going to straight into melee. I mean, 352 armor saddle, and they come out with after imprint with, you know, 7,500 health, so. Oh, don't you hate it when you have a sneeze and it just takes forever to show up? Here, let me... There we go. Because there are some dark spots around here, so... max level. Now the creatures in this cave can be higher than max level. I think up to three times. Actually, I think I ran into a 470 in here before, so that's all over three times. And that was good for two more. Nice. Uh, we do, there are a lot of bats. Arthros, snakes, spiders, scorpions. All right, and okay, they're not coming this way. Let's go to the right first. That's just a dung beetle. Okay. And yes, there are dung beetles in here, but you can't tame the dung beetles. They're, uh... Hey, 11 more levels. Nice. I'll take that and that. We're just going to pitch the rest of this. All right. And then there's another Y. I'm just going to keep going, you know, keep to the right for now, I guess. Hey, four more levels, nice. And... Plot out. Got a red cave drop, airwolf saddle, nice, and lamentria saddle blueprint. And we have rest in peace kiwi, British Texan. Like nothing in here really wants to mess with an aloe, which is kind of funny. That was all 270. 
This is a 390. But yeah. Yeah, I do love the, uh, the dwarf aloes. Okay, so we just kind of looped around there. Back to this way. And we got our throws now. One of the reasons I wanted the aloe in here is because it can actually block the Arthro spit and protect my armor. So. Alright. I think it's. We go this way first for another bag. Okay. Level up while we're waiting. It's nice how spiders will, uh. You can harvest a corpse for silk. Oh, hey, we're back to the entrance. Okay. Four, three, five. Man. Okay, so this time I want to go towards the blue. Can I? Wow, they uh, their roar is pretty quiet. Uh, we've taken about two thousand damage. A bunch of that is going to be from Arthros, though. Most of that damage is probably from the Arthros. I love this gun. Take care of them before they get here. I really love this gun. Okay, I think it's basically you follow the blue crystals to get to the end where the artifact is. Okay. We're just going to keep following the blue, I guess. I did get pretty turned around the last time I was in here, so... Me boosted. Spiders always web. Well, while we're waiting, let's uh, send some stuff back, right?
Yeah, okay, that didn't even count. That one will, though. There it goes. Run this way. Turn around. Just trying to avoid getting rabies, honestly. Yeah, this cave, you're supposed to do this on foot. Which, uh, yeah. I did on foot. The first time, actually. Took about 25 minutes, and... There was a double boss at the end, which were special Carnos, with 25,000 health each. I got lucky killing those guys. I found a chunk of terrain where they couldn't reach me, and I just shotgunned them. Actually, it was like right here, I think. And they got stuck on these uh, slag mice. Yeah, I know the, uh, the bow I have is just insane. Yep, we're getting close. Um, there's Carnos up ahead. Kind of funny, too, because they're all level 1. But there's Tenasta. He's also level 1. And then there's the artifact. There's only one Tenasta this time. Last time I was here, there were two of them spawned out. And when you kill Tenacity, you get a bunch of blueprints. You jerk. Alright, fine, whatever. And artifact to the clever. Uh, but we got. The thing is, is they're not very good blueprints. Not compared to what come out of the drops. But we also get the, the Horn of Tenasta. Which gives a little bit of lore behind it as well. I mean, um, yeah, no, I've got better of all of it. Maybe not the riot, but like a 33 armor saddle. No. Let's see. Grab all that. We can throw this away now. Uh, but yeah, congrats, you defeated Tanasta, the ruler of crystal. Tanasta used to be a normal Carno until he was swallowed by the Crystal Titan, but instead of dying, Tanasta became filled with crystals to the point of seeing the Crystal Titan as its god. After the Crystal Titan died, Tanasta searched caves and mines, searching for people to destroy until a group of survivors made the entrance too small for Tanasta to go through, making her trapped there forever. And let's come over this way then. And pretty much there's a bunch of like dead ends and stuff. But what I noticed is like a cave drop at the end of every dead end. Yep, and there's a blue drop at the end of this one here. So we got 264 armor. That's actually, even with that crafting skill, that's better than the shirt I'm wearing. So that's cool. And 
this is definitely a good place to come in and or farm up silk as well. Silk chitin especially. And things do respawn relatively quickly in here. <laughs> Those are the bats I killed earlier, they're just now despawning. Alright, I think I came from that direction up there, so... Yep, yellow drop. Okay, cool. I've uh, got a Carcanos platform saddle and Ascended Mammoth platform saddle blueprint. Both of those are added in by uh, the Krakens. And it, it, it just kind of makes sense, honestly. But you need to send that back anyway, because it's kind of heavy. The only downside is you can't send blueprints through. Now, I'm thinking, let's run back and see if Tanasta is back yet. There's a Carno down there. Yep, Tenast is back. So yeah, super glowy eyes and crystals sticking out everywhere. I kind of like it. And another artifact. All right, let's look at your blueprints. What did you get this time? Um, slightly better. I mean, slightly. It's definitely not worth farming Tynesta for the uh, the blueprints, so. though. I will keep that because I'm not. I think I have a better minigun, but I'm not sure. But yeah, the rest of it is just kind of whatever. Yeah, I don't think that would be back yet. enemies down here. Yeah, I won't really actually have to even fight the things in here. Unless, yeah, okay. See, the drop's not back yet. But, I mean, they just want nothing to do with an Allosaur. <laughs> and judging by the way I've just been tearing through everything in here, I, I don't blame them. Yeah, it's a shame you can't actually hatch eggs in here, though. Oh, stamina.
And there's a red drop. Okay, yeah. We're, uh... Definitely claiming that one for ourselves. Flamethrower, nice. And 239 armored Dilo saddle. Sure, why not? Yeah, caves are about the only place to get blueprints for the Kraken saddles. Uh, let's see. Yep, red drop. Uh, I might be far enough away to get away with this. Flamethrower fuel now. Okay. Oh. Scorpion saw me. Uh, let's see what else we get. It was an ascendant. Another ascendant mammoth blueprint. No, I might have to go tame a mammoth here soon. I've been using the Thorny Dragon for my wood gathering, but, uh, yeah. Might be time to upgrade to a Mammoth. Something with a lot more, you know, carry capacity. Especially if I add in a Blueprint, and, or not a Blueprint, but add on a Platform Saddle, and then just start making charcoal as we go. Great. Get your stamina back. There we go. Yeah, this is a great cave for getting cave drops in, though. Yeah, it looks like this one hasn't come back yet. It's honestly not that hard of a cave to do on foot because everything spawns in clumps like this. And if you just, like, say, snipe a bat from a distance, only the bats will come after you. Then you can pick them off, and then you can, you know, choose the next thing you want to, you know, snipe and have them come after you and so on and so forth. So you don't have to deal with the entire horde at once, which is nice. Unless you get too close. In which case, you know, yeah, then you're kind of on your own. Stupid Arthur is right in the way. Wow. <laughs> that one went flying. Grab the goodies out. Go ahead and give you another level. You can leave all that stuff on you. The 568% flamethrower. That actually might be somewhat useful. I've always noticed that flamethrowers just they don't have the damage necessary to to use if, you know, you're the only one. Okay. You? You're fine. You know, if something attacks you, you'll be okay. I'm curious to see if my aloe will survive if I unload the cave now. If it does, then I've got a creature I can just leave in the cave and we can run around and have fun, collect cave drops, beat up a mini boss. Hello, Galley. 145, huh?
Okay, let me out. There's a red drop over there I want to go grab. Yeah, the drops in this map have been amazing. Um... I mean, they're, they're pretty good anyway, but I've been collecting so many of them. Well, there's a pair of zinni. Okay. Sword blueprint. 491%. That's not bad. I think that red drop might have broken. I definitely need to be hitting up the blue drops, though, because on this map, they're actually good. And, well, they can be good, anyway. Oh, nope, the red drop is still there. Okay, cool. Not what I meant to do. I thought I was just going to, like, skim over it. This is also where we can find, you know, glow-in-the-dark mammoths if we want. I think I might just go and get a regular one, though, out in the icy area. Area. Red drop of the ring. All right. <laughs> Journeyman Megatherium saddle. Okay. Black boots and a 363 crossbow. Well, it's not bad. It might be better than the one I have already. Not sure. That'll be good for water tames. And yeah, there's a blue drop over here. I think that one's okay. There's one of the drops up here that like sinks below the mesh. So yeah, this isn't it though. I think the one that does sink is over on the other side of the bridge. Another long neck. I mean, uh, yeah, this is completely max. So, but I mean, a three hundred fifty percent long neck is not bad. Something else I can grind it up and get a good amount of metal out of it. Here soon, though, I am going to have to start getting water tames of some kind going. Because there is a lot of water on this map. A, a lot of water. And I need to be able to explore it somewhat. That is a max level A Spino. 28 points into weight. That's not actually bad. I did get a bunch of good stats together on my berries. Well, I won't say a bunch of good stats, but they're not bad. So that'll help with water tames. If nothing else, if it starts getting hairy, I can just stun things and get the hell out. I'm gonna score for saddle blueprint, okay. Smile it on, fight in a stegosaur. Oh hey! Armassy. Hmm. I like that. That looks good. You only need three fermented sweet melons as well, huh? Is that a Ginny? Nope, that adolescent aloe. Okay. Our aloe. Mapu. Yeah, let's, uh, let's not mess with him. There's the mini boss terminal, though.
There's mini boss summoner and Deimos, ancient guardian of Arat, Grimmel to Carcanosaur. Maybe. Hmm. Because I've already fought those guys and the experimental Giga, but I don't remember getting any bits from them. Nixus, I think it's here, right? Yeah, Tenasta. Need a Horn of Tenasta, Crystal, Artifact of the Massive, and Tyrannosaur Arms. Summon the mighty Tenasta, the ruler of Crystal, and tame it. I don't know if Spino is around here. That was an Ichthy Hornus I almost slammed into. Let's uh, stay away from them. And there we go. Alright. Come on, something good. Gas bags and Mega Shell on. Yeah, I mean, gas bags could be handy, I guess. Need to keep an eye out for Thylos, actually. Think about that, it's like, yeah, I am in the Redwoods, I need to be careful. But I think I am going to just go ahead and call this an episode now. Um, got the cave completed. Showed you a way to cheese it. I mean, it's definitely very possible to do on foot. But I would also feel a lot better about bringing, you know, humans with me. You know, you know, other players. Uh, especially Tenast at the end. Well, I was fighting two of them, which also didn't help matters. But, uh, yeah. 23,000 health, and unless you have really, really good um, weapons, you're not going to be able to do the damage to uh, to withstand it. Especially when they start hitting you with a bleed. Because then, yeah. And then it doesn't matter how good your armor is, you're just going to, you know, get blood out everywhere. But, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and until the next one, this is Science signing out, have fun.